So my fifth and final tip for organization and productivity is to use the tasks in Outlook. Again, I'm in the online version of Outlook, so I'm in you know the Office 365 portal, and I go to Outlook. So just keep that in mind. It will be in other places in the other versions. But in the online version, you'll notice there's a ribbon of options up here, and one of them looks like a calendar with a check mark. And I'm just going to click that check mark, and it's going to open it up. And it has actually two tabs here. One is a calendar, so that should show you kind of like your updated current events. And the other is a to-do list. So the to-do list is where you want to go. And so you can see you can either just create a task manually or you can actually drag and drop um, an email from your inbox. And again, you can choose it as an event if you want to create an event that you'll follow up on or you can just add it to the task bar. And when you do that, it's going to show up here in the tasks. And when you've completed it, all you need to do is click on it, and it's going to go to the unread uh, portion. And you can go back and find that if you've completed it at a later time. So it's really convenient and nice. The last kind of bonus tip I'll show you as far as uh, keeping track of things, if, for example, you want to follow up on this email here, there is this little push pin. So if you click on the push pin, it'll send it to you at the top of your email, and it'll always stay there until you've completed it. So you can just click off of it at any time. So those are just two last-minute tips on keeping yourself organized and up-to-date and hopefully more productive.